Hey guys, Connor from Nice Wheels here, and I have Eric with me from Bionics. We're going to talk to you about some of the new features that are available for your Bionics kits. Thanks for having me, Connor. Great to be here. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to talk about is our RC3 controller unit. It's uh, our new kind of base for all of your controlling on your Bionic systems. And that's this small part right here. It replaces the G2 console and throttle. It replaces both parts and keeps all of your controlling in a nice, easy to reach uh, area right at your uh, thumb tip, as it were. It's got all the information you need for your ride, your battery level, your assist or regen level, all built right into the throttle unit, as well as your buttons to control it and any of the other add-on accessories that you can use as well. So the RC3 is taking all the functionality that we had in the G2 console and throttle unit and putting it all into the throttle itself. We've got our power button back here, mm -hmm. our light control here, plus and minus buttons just like we had on the G2 uh, before. Throttle is right down here, and then these center buttons are for the additional display, and we'll get to that in a moment. Ah, okay, cool. So this is more of like the, the brains of the operation now, not so much the display anymore? That's correct. This is going to be the base unit for any sort of upgrades that you do. Any existing Bionics kit that has been produced since 2009 okay. can be retrofit with this new unit, which will replace the console and throttle that you had before. Nice. Definitely a... Uh... A little bit sleeker looking, and uh, I guess if you don't really need too many readouts in front of you, it keeps everything nice and simple up on the handlebars. I like that. that. That's right. A lot of feedback that we got is that <laughs> if you try to put that wide display as well as the throttle on the handlebar, it takes up a lot of real estate. So this keeps things nice and compact. Mm -hmm. uh, we've also upgraded the inner retaining ring, uh, which some, we got some feedback that was either breaking or hard to tighten the right amount. Mm -hmm. uh, so the new one is aluminum and it should be a lot more secure all the time. The new throttle will have a little bit more of a variable uh, touch to cool. it than just the on off of the old throttle. Nice. All right, cool. So what are, what are these lights here? What is everything up there telling you? So you've got your battery gauge built into the right side here just with, some, with four LED lights that will uh, disappear as you lose charge in your battery. Okay. And then over on the left side here, right now it's in neutral, meaning there is no assist and no regen happening in the motor. Mm -hmm. If I give it some plus buttons up here, you'll see these little lights on the left side will go on and indicate your level of assist that you have. Okay. You notice that they are solid, they're just on and not changing. Okay. If I go back down, past neutral, into our regen modes, now if they're flashing, that's your indicator that you're in regen. Ah, okay. And then if you pull the brake lever here, will it just stay in the regen like that, or will that not change when you're riding? That wouldn't change when you're in the regen mode, but as always, once you pull the brake lever, it doesn't give you any indicator on the unit itself oh, okay. that you're regenerating, but you should be able to feel it. So cool, let's go into some of the stuff that this display offers. So this is our DS3 display. Mm -hmm. It's an available upgrade that you can get in addition to the RC3 unit. Mm -hmm. And it also comes standard with the DV model kits, the D500 DV or the P350 DV. Okay. Nice. Um, it's just a display, there's no buttons, no touch screen, it's just there to give you some more visual feedback from what the system is doing based on your RC3 unit. Okay. It has three different display models. This is the basic display. Mm -hmm. I do a press and hold to change over. This is what we call our advanced display. We'll get into a little bit more of the information that's on there. Okay. And then one more press and hold. This is what we call the technical display. This has all of the information that the other screens have, just more compact and available in one small kind of place. Okay, nice. And that's the uh, the right button, the darker gray button in the middle? The right dark gray button will cycle through the different modes on the screen mm -hmm. with a long press. In your basic and advanced displays, you have this small indicator up here that will tell you what level of assist you're in. Or, of course, if you go down, what level of regen you're in. Nice. All right, so it looks like you got a, a lot of settings you can kind of scroll through here. Uh, tell me a little bit about those. That's right. So it's going to be a lot of the same information you had on your G2 display, just, just showing up a little differently. Mm -hmm. Of course, you've got your clock. 
average speed is going to be from the start of your trip through whenever you're looking at it, it will average uh, how fast you, you've gone. Your trip odometer, your trip timer uh, from the beginning of your day to whenever you're checking it. Uh, your total odometer, uh, that of course will always be counting up. And then of course you've got your uh, setup control where you can change some of the display features, the uh, change between miles per hour and kilometers per hour. Can you show us how to get into that, the, that setup screen? Setup screen you enter by having setup selected here and then doing a long press on the light gray button. Okay, that's it. The left one there. Then you can just up and down with your plus and minus buttons through the menu. Press the dark gray button to select what you've just chosen. And if you change something, you just highlight it and go back with the light gray again. And when you come out of it, you'll notice the change there. Nice, easy enough. It looks like there's a lot of cool info on this uh, new display. But you don't actually miss out on that if you don't get a DV kit, is that right? That's correct, yeah. If you just want to keep things nice and simple, again, we have a battery gauge as well as the level of assist or regen mm -hmm. available right on the RC3 unit. So if you don't want this uh, color display, you also have this app that you can use, right? That's correct, and the app is gonna add in some more functions and features that you can check out. It'll also pair up with a heart rate monitor. You can get your heart rate right there, cycle nice. through some of your other functions. Oh, Bionics would like to access your music. You can control your music library from within the app, so uh, you can listen while you're writing. Awesome. Uh, I'm gonna not allow that on the phone <laughs> for right now. It will also tell you the temperature, your altitude, and then the normal features you're used to seeing, speed, battery life, this is down here is your assist level. You'll see there it goes up to level two, three, etc. And then you can also download GPS maps and get turn-by-turn -turn GPS directions while you're out on your ride. You can select a destination, put it in, and it will give you turn-by-turn -turn exactly as you would from your car GPS. Uh, except there will be bike friendly routes. It will give you either the quietest route, meaning like the, le the least traffic. Mm -hmm. It will give you the fastest route, meaning it will get you there in the least amount of time. Okay. Or the most direct route, which might not necessarily be the fastest, but will be the least amount of turns and stops. Okay, cool, sounds good. And to get that app hooked up on, let's say an existing Bionic kit, uh, what do customers need to do that? So in order to use the smartphone app, you'll need to purchase the Bionics Bluetooth module that can connect to any system that's using our RC3 controller. In order to use the Bionics smartphone app, you need to buy the Bluetooth module that integrates into any system that uses our RC3 controller. Mm -hmm. And then you just download the app for free off of the App Store or Google Play, and the app will work with any iPhone or Android phone. The maps that you can download, uh, there is a charge for up to eight maps that will uh, last for one year, and that's a $5 charge. Okay. And the maps, you kind of just download them when you do have an internet connection, and let's say you ride off into the distance and you know, you're know you losing uh, your service, you still have the map on the phone, right? Correct. The GPS, once it starts running, will use no data. It's only running purely off of your phone's GPS. Nice. And with the uh, Bluetooth module, you can also get the optional uh, battery charger as well from Bionix, right? That's correct. Cool. Another great feature of the smartphone app is that you can pair it with a Bluetooth-ready heart rate monitor and then set an ideal heart rate that you want to maintain throughout your ride. And the assist level will actually adjust as you're riding to maintain that heart rate. That is some pretty high-tech stuff. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks to you, Eric, for coming in. And thank you for having me. Showing us uh, all the new fun stuff that's coming out for Bionics. Uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe this video, and check back on our channel for more YouTube content.